Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's educational videos. Today we're going to look at a very specific thing that you might need to do and that is resizing three images to fit on a 24 inch wide roll printer like the Epson 7880 inkjet printer. In this case we're going to resize three images on the short side to be eight inches long and put them into the same file in order to print the three images and use as little paper as possible on the 7880. So you can see here I'm in Adobe Bridge. I've got three images selected. Um, to select more than one image in Adobe Bridge, you just hold the command key and it allows you to select or unselect any image. I'm gonna open these three images by double clicking the small files in the content window and those will open up in Adobe Photoshop. You can see at the top here, I've got these three tabs. You can see those names follow the naming conventions that we use, last, underscore, first, underscore, period, underscore, assignment. And I'm just going to go over a couple of things that you might want to do before you resize the photos. Resizing is usually, typically, the last thing that you do. In this case, for this photo, uh, I think what we're going to want to do is do a quick adjustment here. We're going to convert it to black and white, click OK. And then mess around just a little bit with the uh, brightness and contrast levels. In this case, I'm going to make it a little brighter and increase the contrast just a little bit. Once I've done that, the final thing I would want to do before resizing is crop. And in this case, if we grab the crop tool, and if these are empty, we never really generally want to use the width, height, and resolution when we're cropping. We do that in image size later. If I, but if I hold the shift key, I can actually make this into a square. In this case, this image composition looks pretty good as a square. All right, I'm going to go on to the next image here. And I'm going to crop this photo just a little bit. I'm not going to crop it as a square, but I want to crop that green paper out. And then maybe bring it a little bit up from the bottom and a little bit down so that we can focus a little bit more on that orange. I think this image could use a little bit of a color balance. So I'm going to go in here, image adjustments, color balance. I'm going to take away some of the orange. I think it's a little bit too dominant. Click OK. And then I'm going to increase the vibrance and saturation by clicking on the image adjustments vibrance. Crank that vibrance up. And then the, the saturation, typically no more than about 15 on that. The vibrance can handle a little bit more. Just to kind of make that color pop a little bit more. It may be what's called out of gamut, but that's not something that we'll cover right now. And that's okay. The printer can actually handle an out of gamut color reasonably well. All right, next one here. Uh, I don't know if we want to crop this, but let's just do it um, just to kind of see how um, these images are going to come together. So you can see here that maybe if we do sort of almost a panoramic crop, something like that. And then if we adjusted our brightness and our contrast, maybe increase the contrast, decrease the brightness to get some of the detail to come out a little bit, something like that might work well. All right, the last step is to resize each image. We're going to go image, image size. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that we're going to want to resize the smallest side to 8 inches. And so in here, we've got the width and the height on this particular file. The height is the smaller side. We're going to resize that to 8 inches. If you divide 24, which is the maximum width of a print that can be made on the 7880 by 3, you get 8, and that's where that number is coming from. We change our resolution to 300, and you can uh, click OK, and there's the image size. We're going to do it over here, image, image size, and then we're going to go ahead and change the height to 8, to 8 because it's the smaller of the two numbers. Change the resolution to 300. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Because it was a square, because we held the shift key when we cropped, both the width and the height are going to be 8. And that's fine. Okay. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can go about doing this. Let's, let's do it maybe the easiest way and the way that's going to work for everybody. We're going to go File, New, and we're going to create a file that is 24 inches wide. And let's set the height to, oh... I'm guessing it would be no more than 15, but let's just plug in 15 and we'll see where we get with that. So let's go with a width of 24, a height of 15, or maybe the other way around. Doesn't really matter. Um, change the resolution to 300, make sure that the background contents are white, and then click OK. So we've got a new file right here. 
And we're going to use the Move tool for the rest of what we're doing. So we're going to select the Move tool right here. Click on the top tab of one of the files. Click and drag that down. And then click and drag that into the new file. Click on that file again to close it. Do you want to save? In fact, because I've made some edits, I do want to save this. So File, Save As, find the home for it, save it. Make sure you save it as something new. You don't want to replace any files. In this case, I'm going to say don't save, but I want you to save when you are working on this. I'm just going to justify that in the bottom corner, lock it into that corner over there. We're going to grab this file right here. Click and drag it down. Click and drag it in. Click over here. Close it. You will save it. I'm not going to. And then here, this is where things get tricky because you've got the short side is 8 inches, but the long side is undefined or uh, maybe not, maybe defined, but not... Um, it's not, it might not be the same for each file. So this is where we're going to use the Edit Free Transform tool. And we're going to, with this layer selected, rotate 90 degrees. And it can be 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't really matter. And then you can see, when I move the file, it automatically kind of snaps right to the edge and then right to the bottom. Um, that is, if you have Auto Select Layer chosen up here at the top when you have the Move tool, which you should. All right, last file. Click and drag the tab down, click and drag the file in, go back over here, close it, don't save, image rotation, rather edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees, and then you can see this image fits in perfectly right here. Now, it's a little bit too long for our file, and that's okay, I'll show you what you can do. If you run into this issue where the, the original new file that you made is too big or too small, what you can do is actually go to Image, Canvas Size to extend it. So in this case, we're going to just change this to like 17, I'm going to guess. Yeah, and that's enough. Okay, it's close enough. Um, and then we're going to just move these down into the bottom, lock those down to the bottom. And then we're going to use the Crop tool, and we're just going to click and drag that so that we're using, again, as little paper as possible. It goes right to the edge of the image. Now, you might have less or more white space here. But because of the size of this particular image over here, we want to use this particular kind of sizing and orientation. Now, I'm just noticing something here. If I click using the Move tool on the middle layer, which is layer 2 down here, and then I go Image, um, rather Edit, Transform, Rotate, 90 degrees, uh, will it fit up here? No. So I was thinking, you know, you might be able to arrange things differently, but the way that I'm just going to undo, step backward, and then that gets us back here. This is how it should look. It's okay that there's some white space here. These three particular prints don't line up very well together for this kind of print. Most of the time, though, you're going to have less white space, probably. The key here is that we want to resize so that the smallest side of the print is 8 inches and then line them up right next to each other like this so that it's 24 inches wide. Okay. Uh, we crop it after we do our moving and arranging so that it's the smallest file that it can be. And then the final thing you're going to do is just file save as. Now if you ever are working with layers, the default format is going to be Photoshop, which is fine. That's totally exactly what I want you to do, in fact. And then you're going to save it as a Photoshop file, name it last name underscore first, the whole normal naming convention, and go from there. And that's how you're going to resize and arrange three images to print on the Epson 7880.